Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm just doing a quick little video on how I made this beautiful, exquisite, pink conch shell necklace. I have been starting to, I'm a gemstone collector and I've been collecting pink conch lately. It goes really well with my Morganite and they, so it's basically a, it's so beautiful. It's a hand carved shell from Queen Conch Shell. I'll put a picture up somewhere. And they carve it. It's all hand carved. It has the most amazing energy. And you know, because I'm a gemstone wearer and energy worker, I like to wear like gemstones and things like that for different energy. And this, when you wear this, this works with your, your, um, your auras and your chakras. All gemstones do, as a matter of fact, maybe I'll do a, a gemstone series kind of thing, like talking about, I don't know. And it's just one of my passions. So I, it's really hard to find pink conch jewelry. And if you do, it's like extremely expensive, but it's, it's very rare to find. And I was able to find some on Etsy but what they had were just pieces with holes in them. These keep getting in. <laughs> so what I decided to do was just make something um, while I learn how to do jewelry making because I don't really know how to do jewelry making very much. So I thought, and then I was at the craft store and I saw these tassels and then I was looking at cording to see what I could do. And I just came up with this and I thought it was the most beautiful feminine um, but it, look how perfect it matches. I will link everything that I use below, but I just think it's beautiful. I wanted to do it as a bracelet, but then it got kind of like hard to tie, but look at how cute. If you had somebody else tie it, look at how cute that would look. It would be shorter. Hanging, hanging, it would be like, let me flip it around. Oh yeah, you could do it like this. Watch. Maybe I should sit here. I don't know. I, I wanted to stand so you could. So I'm gonna show you how I put it on. So, um, if you wanted somebody else to tie it for you, I just don't have somebody else right here right now. But if you wanted somebody to else tie it for you and wear it as a bracelet, like I just think it's so freaking exquisite and adorable. So. I just threaded it, um, stay tuned, I'll show you how I made it. But basically, I wanted to show you how to put it on. You just go like that. I wanted mine to be a choker. And then you just like tie it. But what you can do is to make it as tight as you want. So like, put it in the back and then tie it like a bow, which makes it kind of a reversible necklace, I guess. I don't know, like you could, cause like that looks kind of cute too. And then all you do is just like turn it around. <gasps> there we go. It's so pretty. I love it. And um, so I'll include all the information, um, how to do it, where to get it. I think this one sold out. I'm so sorry. This particular one where I got it is sold out. However, I did message him and ask him, when is he getting more in? Because I wanna make these for friends and family. I just think it's so pretty. So um, yeah, so, so stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how to make this cute pink conch necklace store. I want to use these tassels and I got Crimper tool, crimping beads. Uh, let's see here. Silk bead cord. And I think these are called jump loops. I think that's what they're called. Anyways, I also got a bale right here. A silver bale and some more just in case, but I'm jewelry making this afternoon. And um, what I really, really want to do with this lovely cording is I want to use that peach color and the peach tassels 
with my absolutely exquisite, yes, exquisite pink conch, carved pink conch. Now, I will explain what pink conch is, but for now, it's, I just want you to see it. This is the other piece that I'm trying to use for a pendant, and this I want to use for a bracelet. I'm going to do them both differently, and this video is mostly just on this bracelet right here that I'm going to make. I don't know if it's going to work, so we're going to give it a try. Let's go. Okay, so I just opened up everything, and I have my like little crimping beads. And sorry, I have paint. I've been painting today too. It was a craft day. Okay, so I'm gonna take, look at this thread. I think this is for pearls. Anyways, it's this beautiful peach. It came with like a threading thing. How awesome is that? Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is take, I've never done this before. I'm just, this is all in theory. Oh my gosh, I hope this works. How do you thread it though again after? That's what I wanna know. Maybe you can only thread it once. Maybe. Maybe after you cut it, you can only thread it once. Ooh, I hope my idea works. You know what? I thought I was gonna have. I thought I was gonna double. I want to be able to tie it on my wrist right here. I wonder if it it might it just might be thick enough already. Yeah, it it might be thick enough already just to tie it like this with the tassels. Okay, let me take this one off. Okay, so I think that would give me enough length to tie it. So I'm gonna want the tassels basically down here so that I can tie it. So I'm going to cut it right there. Just making sure these are the same length on each side. I do all this on this way more. I think you're supposed to do this. I think you're supposed to thread it in here. Woo! Where'd it go? Maybe this will be easier if I pick it up this way. It worked. I just don't know if I'll be able to do that again though. I might need a needle. Okay. 
Okay, and then I think the theory is you're supposed to thread this one through this guy again. I wish I really knew how to jewelry make. Okay, this is gonna sound really weird, but I'm gonna take some eyelash glue <laughs> and I'm going to make the end of this like really firm so that I can like poke it in where I want to. Does that make sense? And I'm gonna like twirl it and twist it to kind of, yeah, see, so I'm gonna try to make like a nice little point on here. And then I'm gonna let this dry and see if it will thread in there. So I'm gonna let it dry like that. And then I'm gonna try to do this side. Okay, so quick intermission, cause this video is long and detailed, but here's the one we're making today. My daisy came in and then here's this one. So yeah. So it, we're almost done, keep watching. This one might work. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And if this glue doesn't work, I have um, craft glue, like a glue gun. I can definitely make it firm. But let's see if this one worked. Okay, so I think the theory is, then you bring it down, am I bringing this close enough? So like, let's make it like smaller here. Let's do it like right there. How's that? And then I think you just crimp it. And then you have like, yeah. Okay, now I just got these. Whoa, okay, that got caught. Okay, wait, while this is, let me let this one dry now. Let me do the eyelash glue. Here, let's see what kind do we have here. Eye lure. <laughs> I got some, uh, yeah, I got some just every days. Okay, let's see. Where did it go? Let's let this dry while we're crimping this other side. It's just gonna give it like that little firm ability to stay, stick together and poke through this little tiny, tiny hole. Okay, here we go. Hopefully I'm going to be doing this right. I wanna bring it all the way up, I think. You're supposed to crimp. Okay, did that crimp it? Yes, and then I think you're supposed to turn it to the side and then crimp it again. Let me go like this. Yes. I think that's what you do. There we go. I think that worked. Oh my gosh, it feels so firm. Oh my gosh, it worked. I'm so excited. Oh, I feel like I wanna crimp this even more though. Is that not a good thing? I'm gonna try crimping it again. I don't think you need to. The direction said like twice. 
Okay, I think that's good. I don't wanna like break it. All right, awesome. And then I think you just trim that end that you don't want. There we go. Oh my God, I am so excited. Okay, let's see if this side worked. It's still wet. Might be pokey though. It might be pokey. Where in the world is a pokey little puppy? Where in the world is he? Okay, that was like, I loved that song when I was a little girl. Where in the world is the pokey little puppy? That was like one of my favorite songs. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna bring this down. Okay, that's probably good enough. Yep, yeah. okay, so now we will do the crimpy, crimpy shrimpy. And one. And turn, and one, and turn, and, <laughs> sorry, I'm just being a dork. Wow, and two. Okay, did that work? Ooh, it smushed it too much, I think. I think it worked though. I'm gonna make it like less flat. I did it too much. Okay, well, thank goodness we got more. Let's get this one off and start over. It came with like a ton of them. Okay, here we go again. Here we go again. Grab another one. Oh, here it is. The reason that why how I got this idea was I actually saw this girl like a couple a few years ago this girl was wearing this necklace that she made them and she like braided these and they looked so pretty and i always thought i wanted to make something like that but i didn't know how and that was kind of like how this idea came about when i saw these tassels at the craft store i was like oh yeah i can do that with because i haven't been able to make these work yet um this bail this bail that i got doesn't work with the jump rings that i got so i'm hoping these will work okay let's let that dry doesn't even have to really dry all the way. It's just, okay. Needs to be firm a bit. Okay, I'm going to 
I crimp this one better, guys. I promise. I will crimp this much better. And you know what? This one's like a lot. Whoa! What happened? Let me make it go up higher. This one just came off. Okay. One. I mean, this is what it says to do. Two. Okay, so that feels right. Then what, did we do the other one wrong too? Maybe it's not super sturdy or something. I think I did them too tight. Okay, so just don't do them as, don't crunch down as much as I did. I might need the glue on this again. No wonder this isn't working. This is completely filled. It's not even hollow inside. Okay, here's a better one. Okay, now this is frayed. Let's glue it together. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about the paint on my hands. Okay, yep, we need more glue. So I just pinch it and twirl it. Good, so it's all threaded again. So now we're just gonna bring this guy down, all the way down, like we did on the other one. Maybe I'm just like crimping it too close or something. All right, let's try a little bit farther away. And Maybe I should try in that one. Okay, I tried in the second um, crunchy thing again. 
what are these called? Crimper. I tried it in the second the second crimper and you know what? I think that seemed to work better. What I'm gonna do now is turn it around and crimp it with the smaller crimping, but not as firm. There we go. Okay, and then so now all we have, see isn't that pretty? And then now all we do is, oh wait, I forgot to trim this. And then, so now all we do is just tie it on. Let me see if I can get it tied on. It's so pretty. It's long enough to where I can tie it for a bracelet or around my neck as a choker. So that way the, let me get that back a little bit more. That way the, the carved conch rose will be right on the center of the neck. Ah, it's so pretty. And this was actually a pretty quick project. I mean, it, it only really took me about 20 minutes. So yeah, and then these are on Etsy. And here is the finished product. Isn't it beautiful? It's so pretty. I absolutely love it. I love how it just kind of like hangs in the back and I just, I love it. I also wanted to mention about the energies of this stone. So, and it's actually a shell, but basically the healing properties of pink conch are to, um, it, it, it sy symbolifies infinity. Sy did I say that right? Symbolifies infinity. <laughs> yes. And it, it helps whether you're male or female, it helps to bring out your natural inner and outer beauty, which I love that. You don't have to, they, they carve it in different, like if you're a guy, you don't have to get a flower, but like, you know, you could get a different, um, a different carving, but let me just read a few of the other healing benefits. It can bring luck. These pearls are considered to be a, a symbol of infinity and hence helps you to grab infinite opportunities. If you want to broaden your horizon and want to leap in your career or personal life, then this is the perfect gemstone for you. In love relationships, it can strengthen compassion or attract a good match. Let's get this tightened on really well. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's, um, it's excellent for money and success in business or job. Okay, that's positive. And there's physical health benefits. So whether or not you believe me, it is true that gemstones do help your aura and your chakras. So the health benefits for pink conch are known to maintain a balance between the soul, body, and mind. Beneficial for disease associated with the lungs. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, bronchitis, asthma, and tuberculosis. It's known to heal some of the other systems. It has a sedative effect and calms the body, promotes good sleep, and even lowers acidity and neutralizes toxic elements. Well, I've noticed personally since wearing this stone, I've felt more inside and outside beauty. I have felt a lot more calm. And I can't, it's not necessarily a calm like that makes you feel super relaxed and like placid. It's more of like this inner like peace calm that's beautiful and like loving calm. That's why I highly recommend this stone. It's so nice. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I love this. It's, um, it's used during meditation to get the benefits of lunar and water energy. Um, they should be cleaned regularly and kept under the moonlight to get recharged. Oh, that's good to know. Um, pearls, these types of pearls, like conch pearls and pink pearls, make you more responsible and confident about your actions and thoughts. It can enhance your skills and talents as well as creativity. So these pearls were, okay, so like pink conch was actually used, I'll put it up here or here, but like originally in Victorian like cameos, you know? So like in the Victorian era time. So I think I'm gonna wear mine with my, um, 
I think it'll be great to wear with my Halloween costume um, with my Marie Antoinette costume. So I'm gonna wear that um, instead of a cameo kind of thing. Um, and then what I was gonna say about the lunar, um, lunar and moon energy often relates to like your emotions and your emotional body and aura. So yeah, so it's just a good stone. I highly recommend it. I got most of it off of Etsy. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Bye.